Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multi-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.4k in the great state of Texas and we're using item number 37 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment, pause the video, see if you can work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So this standard has both one and two step problems, and this happens to be just a simple one step problem. So we have Miss Lasoya, she's got 72 index cards, and she's gonna arrange them into six equal stacks, and then how many index cards are gonna be in each stack. So our only clue here is going to be this, this term equal stack. So whenever we're looking at equal groups or equal stacks, that means that we are going to use either multiplication or division because multiplication and division only work when you're dealing with the same size groups or equal groups so we see equal groups also each typically gives us a clue that we're looking at either multiplication or division so we can go ahead and knock out a few of these answers because you've got 72 and 6 so if you're not sure what to do you can add the two 72 plus 6 that's going to make 78 and that's where this answer comes from that doesn't make any sense. How can there be 78 cards in each stack when you only have a total of 72? Some students might want to subtract the two. We can regroup here and you can see we're going to get 66, which is our answer selection here. Once again, that doesn't make any sense. If you have six equal stacks of 66, it's going to be a heck of a lot more than 72. So both of these are incorrect. And so what we need to do is we're going to need to either multiply or divide. And we can just use logic here saying both of our answer choices, uh, 12 and 9, that remain, are smaller. And so when we get smaller, we're going to be dividing. Dividing is what makes it smaller. Multiplication typically makes our answers bigger. And so let's see if we can draw a picture of this just to kind of represent what we're doing. And we'll look at a few different ways that we can solve it. So if I wanted to make a strip diagram... I could do like this. I can say, look, I've got 72 total, so that's my max. That's why that 78 doesn't work. It's larger than my total. And I'm going to do six groups here. So I cut it in half and cut each half into thirds. I've got six groups. So those are my six equal groups, and how many can I put into each? So if I do know multiplication fact, I can probably get that done. Six times something makes 72. But I don't necessarily know my my six is all the way up to seventy two. So let's see what uh, let's just see what we can do with some division. So we could literally just take this uh, graph that we have here, this um, strip diagram, and we could just take our seventy two, and we can just split them up. So we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and just keep going until we run out. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Now I've got six sets of five. That makes 30. If I do 30 plus another 30, that's going to give me 60. So I'm just going to use my brain here a little bit. I'm going to put another five into each of these just to save me some time. Now that I figured out that Six sets of five make 30. Ten sets of five is going to make 60. So that's going to make sense is if I can get that up to 60. Because I've got so far 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now I can go a little bit slower. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. So there we go. It looks like I have got sets of 12. Six sets of 12 would make 72 or my number sentence could be 72 divided into six equal groups it's going to give you 12 in each group so our answer is going to be a 12 and 9 is just uh, just another uh, option that's smaller but I'm not sure how we're getting 9 from there and so we can uh, finish this problem here by looking at 72 divided by 6 equals 12 this is represented with a strip diagram as is this because multiplication and division are inverse operations, and you can represent them both with the same strip diagram. 